How's it going, beautiful people? I'm Oz, and welcome back to another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. Last episode, we're finally in this area where we found out that Faro were the people of that, the creators of the Focus, and they also um, created all of these machines and stuff. So at the moment, we're trying to go into Mr. Faro's office because we're like 300 bajillion, bajillion, million years overdue to go visit him. Lol. Um, so yes, <laughs> that's where we're at at the moment. Let's go in here then. Looks like the way up. What's left of it? Excuse me. It's really nice how you really don't have to do a whole lot of effort to make Aloy um, scale these buildings and stuff. It's just it's flawless. After just finishing God of War, it's just such a breeze. Frozen metal most of the way. Got a war three. This easy, Doctor Sobek. If plants can find a way to hang on up here, guess I can too. Here we go. It's really hard to sort of tell what you can scan and what you cannot scan. The blue cord. Why is there a blue cord? This is the began when they engaged in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand down coats, and by all signs, they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now, what I can promise you, can absolutely assure you, is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. And a day's coming when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace. Yep. <laughs> no doubt about it. I mean, in, in all of these circumstances, there's always someone that has a good intention to use these machines, possibly for good, but people are dicks. Oh, it's just a text mail. God damn. Nothing there, really. <laughs> oh my god. How long is this gonna take? God, there's a whole nother world up there. multiple different ways of getting up here, are there? The music's progressing. Like, oh god, this is such a massive build-up. Imagine if we found Nils up here. <laughs> That'd be funny. No space. Come on, man. The suspense is killing me. It's stopping. I can stop squinting against the white. It's 
something here as well. Another bloody text mail. I don't care. A way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. Bring it out. Made it. Wonder what we'll find. It'd be amazing if we found anything. This place is open. There shouldn't be anything left with all the wind and the rain and the. Oh my god, you can still keep going up. That's just fucking ridiculous. I'm on top of the world, eh? 6% power remaining. All data has been erased from this device. Do you wish to deploy other privileges to recover purge data? Oh yes, I believe I do. A file has been recovered. Lovely. Elizabeth, good to, uh, it's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your daddy confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's a glitch in the chariot line. Your killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would if we could. They're not responding. Are you sure <laughs> swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Another fire has been recovered. Oh, of course. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. What? You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth kicks out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. Hmm. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. The world of the old ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. Yeah, that is true. A final fire has been recovered. If there were a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than a disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? what? Are you crazy? Now your yeah. choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. 
or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. Well, she kind of, you kind of gave her no sign. choice, man. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. I still don't know what she did. What made her solution so terrible. What did yeah. she do to stop the robots? <laughs> this, this doesn't add up. I think we couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. Is that your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? <sighs> you should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, We're getting there. You have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. <laughs> Priorities. Simons. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. I do, uh, yeah. All right, silence. You've made your point. I came to these ruins hoping to learn more about this Elizabeth Sobek. And I have, but I still don't understand my connection to her. Or why the Eclipse is trying to kill me. Or who Hades is. No answers, just one question after another. There's still exactly. another mountain to climb. Which is why it's time to expand your frame of inquiry. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. Oh my god. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. We need to go Thanks back to, to where you, we were born. We've only just now learned that pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So... What did Elizabeth do? I really How like that name. How did the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now... Are you ready to go get the answer? Definitely. Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. How the I hell did you, you get onto any of this? If you still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. Oh my god! So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades. Mm. It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom with a terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. Mm. Well, that was the pretty obvious. I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. 
The super armor. Maybe to stop the robots. The civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Now, if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh, no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining and answer my questions. <laughs> Proceed. You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. No, he's the suspected. That way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. Oh, cauldron. What did I call them? Oracles. So the Corruptors and Deathbringers. They don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of? Hmm. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice, that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. That's cool. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. That's a handy trick. you can trick. spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... complicated. Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this personal. How did you get into all of this? I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. Did you though? I am nothing if not independent. Hmm. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Mm. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. Maybe she's like that really old duck that's at the tribe. Western you know, the, the one that named us. <laughs> Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists, as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cherry name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Oh, this is gonna be so Someday good. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. I need to go up. I'm curious. Well, getting down will be a lot faster than getting up here, at least. U.S. Robot Command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. At least now we're starting to, um... Understand the name of the game. You always wonder how games are, set, like, named. There we go, folks. Progress! Gotta love it. There it is. Power cell. This should help me get to that ancient armor. It's a shame that they couldn't give us a better view, like a clearer one. But we are so friggin' high up. Let's go. Maybe I should go get that ancient armor.
Oh, this is cool. Shake the numbness out. Oh, I love repelling. And yeah. Now I just need to find a campsite. was one. Here we go. Now's a good time to quick save as well. Wicked. Don't get stuck in the flames, my dear. Quests. Side quest. That's, um, oops. Map. All the way over here. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Even further. <laughs> um. Is it there, is it? Oh, yeah, and then we go underneath the thing. Yep. Oh, okie dokie. And this loading page takes so freaking long as well. But it'd be totally worth it. It was pissing me off where, where I had to find that power cell, so I actually did look that up when I was playing this months ago. <laughs> And when I found out that it was like near the area that we were um, having to travel to next, it's like, oh, really? Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Do you guys actually swap out your armor when you verse different things, or do you just keep the same armor all the way along? Because, like, I could not be bothered doing that in between different bosses and stuff. I do sometimes wonder as well if um that big machine thing that's up on the hill you know that has all those legs and stuff if that will ever come to life. I do wonder about that. See one epic final boss battle. I'm playing too much God of War. Um, here we go. where that flower was. Hope this armor looks like totally badass. Maybe there's a clue nearby. Um, say what? I think the old ones use numbers like this to indicate time. 
Oh, okay, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Um... Maybe there's some more information nearby. Something that looks like each dial has four positions. Maybe if I no, what are you doing? Each dial in the right position. Yeah, twelve o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock. Did it. Now to check cool. the door. Those clamps have the armor locked in place. Maybe there's a way to power up the mechanism, release the clamps. Don't tell me there's more to this bullshit. <laughs> Do not waste my time, mon chéri. Um. Oh, see, that's just bullshit. It's like that's just stuff that just wastes my time. It doesn't even tell me how to get rid of the bloody cramp clamps. Cramps, my god. These numbers, they must be related to segments of a circle. Where? Where did I find that? music going on like this. Oh, it's so loud. Just need to install these power cells. That should do it. Are you fucking kidding me? I don't have those power cells. Happy Jan. <laughs> really thought that we would get we were getting there. But no. I had to ruin all my dreams. remember the music ever being so out of sync with everything like it just it, it's the music's playing in totally inappropriate points of the game I feel like there's nothing dramatic down there like why the fuck are they playing music like that it's all just a little bit weird maybe that's just me Wow. Good thing I've already gone up the way. Yeah, that thing. That thing. Oh, this is good. I should really play elevator music in between these moments, shouldn't I? It is getting a little bit quicker, I, I will admit. That seems to be going quicker than the last time. Still not as long as Harry Potter. Though. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Thank you. Oh shit. What's 
that one? Oh, Glintor. Wow. Let's just get up the hill. Look at that thing, like... It looks like the machine to end all machines. Maybe it created, like, a frequency to destroy them all. No, I'm sorry, that's just too much effort. <laughs> Eclipse. I'm not showing any focuses at that location. Shouldn't be anything you can handle on your own. Carry on. Oh, thanks. On my own, all right. Oh boy. Anything over there? Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Go try not to press R1 before it comes up. Done that in the past. Not good. Not sure what that was. Well, how about you come and investigate? <laughs> come here. Oh, good, he's a good boy. Don't like how she comes out of the woodworks like that. I thought. You thought right. <sighs> Lovely jubbly. It's nice, like, when you do stealth, how you just get that little bit extra XP. It really helps a ton. God, this thing is so fucking cool. I don't know if I've travelled up... Oh, I've travelled up a little bit... No, I haven't travelled up to here. The monster to end all monsters. The Grave Horde. And the shadow of a metal devil. Great. Dun, 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 dun. We're gonna end the episode there. <laughs> I gotta keep you coming, you know? good it's good <laughs> like maybe and subscribe guys and i'll see you in the next episode you take care now <laughs> man they don't think they can wake it do they oh shit yeah you watch out bottom dollar <laughs>